everyone this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Kolkata and Delhi now before i get to the preview you keep in mind that you have to join the free giveaway on the fan to play app and along with that they also have the leaderboard which is currently in its third phase and the first three prizes get you a chance to go all the way to australia and watch the t20 world cup final and all expense paid trip so remember to join that leaderboard with 25 teams and stand a chance to go all the way to australia and along with that obviously there are lots of cash prizes and grand league prizes to be won so we are at the mid of this whole tournament and we have a super special guest with us today crick crazy next like you all know him nikhil how are you doing great as i say you know all the videos trying to get my head around the unreal and crazy games that are happening in the ipl and how do you feel mid tournament is going who do you feel is going to finally make through the race i think lucknow rr look very good to be uh, in terms of their overall uh, ability uh, it it will probably come down to srh gujarat and uh, hyderabad uh, so hyderabad gujarat and uh, bangalore in terms yeah. of whoever gets their batting sorted when they're not winning the toss i think two of them will then go through let's see Makes sense. So first, let's talk about the keepers for this game. So who do you see making it from the keepers for you? Well, the batters haven't been reliable, so I'm going. I'm going with guys who can give you more returns, uh, not just mm. from batting. So I'll go with both Pant and Billings. Uh, Billings mm. now that is opening. If you can see through the first two overs, you'll get a good score uh, on a on a good batting deck, hopefully. So I'm going with both the keepers for now. Makes sense. So basically, Billings in the team if he opens for you, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, then I think the batters are really obvious. I hear Warner Shaw. Anybody else who you see making it from this whole section for you? Oh, uh, Finch, Rana, Powell could be interesting grand league options. Hmm. Uh, but in very specific scenarios, like Rana usually does better in chases at times. So hmm. you can use that using that. Finch again depends on the new ball threat. Uh, there are good enough left arm bowlers that uh, Delhi have and. They should hmm. be able to keep him quiet, but if you feel that they will not work out and Finch will, then you can definitely back Finch to come good. And uh, Robin Paul again, uh, he's batting too low. Uh, last game also hmm. he batted way too low. So uh, for specific uh, for specific scenarios, yes, you can go ahead with them. But uh, yeah, as I, as you said, overall these three other guys will be there in most sides. Right, makes sense. Uh, then we have the all rounders. So who do you see coming in from here along with Russell for you? Uh, I think both Naren and Aksar Patel, uh, hmm. purely because they are starting to get into the groove and pitches are also starting to help uh, tweakers a hmm. lot more. And also Aksar takes a lot of good catches, so I uh, cannot discount that. But yeah, the thing with KKR is you don't know who will bat where, who will uh, bowl when, and hmm. uh, maybe Aksar can be nullified if they have a uh, if they have the good matchup against it. But Aksar does well against left-handers any which ways. So which that is the reason. So in fact, he's also dismissed Rana twice, right? Yeah. So that is the reason why I'm yeah. keeping Aksar uh, safer option. Uh, Lalit Yadav is also a very tempting one, uh, but again, yeah. I don't know how many, how often Delhi will bowl him over other other bowlers. So yeah, for now these three. Right. Makes sense. And uh, from the bowlers, I think uh, you'll take Khalil because of the amount of wickets that he's taking. Who else do you see making it for you? Uh, so see, Khalil has always had that history of taking big wickets and big wickets, and is doing that again, uh, bowling very well, a uh, bowl up top and, and and in the death over. So I think Khalil that becomes a, a very good pick. Obviously, Tim Saudi. I don't know why he was dropped for Pat Cummins. Uh, no matter the name, it was Pat Cummins only who was. The reason for them not having the balance last year as well. So uh, again, Saudi comes into my team as well, no doubt there. Mm. Yes, he will be up against Shaw and Warner, but if he can get that in swing going to Shaw, he could be trouble. Uh, so I, I expect Warner to play him off. Warner has got off, got off to him, I think, thrice, but strike rate is over mm. 200. So uh, Warner is not bothered by the pace, but I think Shaw could be bothered by the movement on that one. So. That's my second pick, and the third will be Kuldeep Yadav. Informed guy, last game took four wickets against uh, his former side. So yeah, can't wait for him to take five. 
and uh, apart from that do you see saudi being a conditional pick for you where he's bowling first and if he's bowling second you'll leave him or you'll have him in both scenarios in your team very tempted to keep him in both scenarios purely because uh, we've seen wickets fall with the new ball in both innings so hmm. uh, in that case again umesh is a very tempting pick but um, so, so no disrespect but never been a great fan of him uh, in terms of his control so if he hmm. gets his first over bad then it, it's almost unlikely that he'll end up with more than two wickets but saudi if he can strike even if he doesn't strike he finds a way to keep himself in the good economy rates again hmm. that depends on when he's used if they use him at the death then he'll also go for 20 in an over so that usage is obviously kkr dependent but uh, hmm. i'm more tempted to keep saudi because he can also contribute with the bat and that you usually have a one game where saudi comes in and hits a 10 ball 25 uh while batting for right. so that could also result in a uh, uh, handy points and how do you see the umesh versus uh, warner match up going do you see that fifth dismissal coming or not really see it it could come uh, and hmm. again uh umesh probably encapsulates kkr the most uh, the kind of team kkr are and the kind of bowler umesh is it's a perfect marriage you never know what to get from them on the on the day so i think it it will depend on whether they are batting first or bowling first that is hmm. kkr if umesh is bowling first more chances of him getting a wicket is what i feel if they hmm. are chasing because delhi know the target when they are chasing they'll probably play umesh with much more exact plans as compared to hmm. say batting first so uh, that's the way to see but i do feel warner's form is too good uh, for him to not be kept in the team for sure so makes sense and uh, who do you see as captain and vice captain in this game ha huh, that's the tricky call but uh, i think andre russell is a uh, unanimous choice there uh, yeah. he's is starting to get those runs as well every 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 other game now and he <laughs> takes four wickets in an over you don't want anything nothing like junk <laughs> wickets in in t20 cricket as long as you have the player so the lesser i, I think, say the uh, better the <laughs> and the russell i think uh, is a definite safest option for captain hmm. vice captain there are a lot of good ones uh, shaw has always enjoyed playing kolkata shreya sayar loves to play his former side he scored a 50 last game david warner is a good pick i'll probably be a bit more left feel and go with someone like a pun uh, again hmm. i'm expecting him to score and then also give me good wicket keeping points uh, especially if they bowl first uh, so right. that is the logic But again, if they are bowling first, Russell could also be swapped with Rishabh or one or whoever you want to go down that. Mm. But yeah, plenty of more options for vice captain than there are for captain. Eight. What do you think? Makes sense. I think it's the battle of exes. I think I hear billing school deep. You have too many yeah. vice captains to pick from. <laughs> Correct. Okay, so I think we have that. Apart from that, do you see someone like Chakravarti making a GL team for bowling at the death, or you feel that is too left field a thing to do? Oh, you would love to have that, but I think Varun's bowling isn't giving you that much confidence that uh, you know he'll come good. He will come hmm. good. He's a good guy, but that one of one performance is one performance hasn't yet come. So if it comes against Delhi, then they are the unfortunate. team but yeah in some team i'm sure a lot of people will try both combinations of narayan and varun and uh, also venkatesh sher is due for a big one uh, and Same he's batting there no yeah, and obviously yes the lord uh, you know he could really run away with the top order one day he'll get those three early wickets and then break the game open for his side because he's also oh. batting very well so if they bat first he gets good hits in the middle then he'll come in and take a good wicket because We've seen wickets with the new ball, as I, as we said mm. before, in both the innings. So the new ball bowlers always become very handy because they are they have the best possible time to strike. I think we have a lot of good GL options in this game because yes. Varun, Shardul, all these guys would have probably made our first team last year based on form even yeah. I hear. So yeah. <laughs> and also it's it's also a thing to do with how they they are used, right? Uh, mm. If how Shardul was used uh, with. Uh, SCS case far different from how it's used with for Delhi. So that usage also matters. When Kishore Shah is mm. batting up top, doing well now, he's not doing well, so being used in the middle order. So a lot of these factors are also important. True, makes sense. 
and uh, what is your challenge team then for this game how many picks are you making uh for sure i'll go with russell and ayer and warner hmm. so these three i think are uh, uh, are probably kind of must have uh, given their recent form uh very tempted to go if i if i go with fourth player it could be one of uh, narain or shardul again hmm. conditional pick purely depending on whoever goes for it. because fizz is also due for a good first innings two three wicket all so uh, again as you said lot of good options for grandix in this game but yeah warner uh, russell will definitely be in the and ayer will definitely shreya say will definitely be in the main team if at all great thank you thank you so much apart from that any closing comments from you any other insights that you'd like to give because i think this is an amazing game especially to play grand leagues with the amount of good players who are actually not going to get picked in a small league team yeah i think one thing that we need to uh, we can definitely try out in in such games is uh, make more scenarios in our mind i think a lot of times the issue happens that we take the new ball bowler but we also keep one of the top 3 Or, or two hmm. of the top three attacks. I think that is something that we can be more sure of. That even if they are in form, if you are expecting an Umesh Yadav to strike, then drop both David, drop David Warner happily. Don't be hesitant hmm. that I still want to return from that because I think that is what at times stops the GL team from actually going up top because eventually they are still still thinking that let's go a bit safe. I I'll suggest hmm. don't go safe with your Grand League teams. Learn from Vire. Uh, he's he's very good at <laughs> taking risks. and it's okay if sometimes they don't come off but the point hmm. is when they do the returns should be so much that you are covered for many games in the in the coming time so uh, when you are trying gl go full jai mata di true true that's very true apart from that thank you so much nikhil and everybody do join us on the telegram channel for your final team and updates and like nikhil said some crazy gl risks all the good luck to you <laughs>